see a car pass by and he was screaming some shit and he was like, are you Angelique? He starts talking, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna kidnap you. And then he's like, I'm gonna tell you something. I used to be a sugar daddy. It's perfect. You live and you learn it. And if I mess it up sometimes, nobody's perfect. No! No, no, no. Ding, ding, ding. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. <laughs> guys, I love you guys so much. I can't believe I have real friends. It's so cheap. Did you say I can't believe I have real friends? <laughs> I know me too. I do No matter how far I know where you go. Down on your darkest road. I would have followed all the way to the graveyard. So we're filming. <laughs> Pinkies up. Pinkies, Pinkies up. up. Pinkies up. <laughs> We're so fucking classy. Hello. How you doing, Nikki? Good, uh, la, la. About you, Sammy? Good, What was your question? Awesome. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel everybody. Today we're talking about our Uber story times. Sorry. Uber stories from hell. Cause these bitches got some crazy ass fucking stories up in here. So they get started, please follow Samantha Trevino on Instagram. At Angelique Brenna, so I'll link it in the descriptions below. Please follow them. Why are you still handcuffed? This is my question. Oh, I wanted to make it. No, leave tighter. it. It's cool. Oh, she wants to make she it wants tighter. A tighter. She Ooh, wants a tighter. Wow. I love a tighter. Sure, 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 sure. What? <laughs> Here, my little slave. We should make a threesome. I mean, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we will. This will happen. I made a video. Ooh, what a sexy guy. Or, or two. We have to do more juice for you. Sounds cool. <laughs> Who wants to start with their story? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Woo! So, story time. Okay, so I feel like I told you guys this. I had an Uber driver who picked me up and I was going to my parents' house. Mm -hmm. I was coming from Bel Air, I think, and like there were like lights out and everything. He was like, Oh, isn't this so romantic? Like, all the lights are out. I'm like, Uh huh. Yeah, we should go on our first date on the same road like this. <laughs> I'm like, This guy, mind you, was like in his 40s or 50s, and he said he was married. He was like, Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to make things happen. I'll even like break up with my wife to be with him. And I was like, Hell no. He literally told me I was, I was getting dropped off at my parents' house. He was like, Oh, I should meet your dad too, because I feel like this is going really well. I'm like, Uh huh. I don't know. He was joking, but he was like, I should really go on a date with you. And I was like, he oh, was cool. married, and he also had like three kids, and he was like, Yeah, we should go on a date sometime. Like, this is so romantic. I'm like, this is a fucking Uber ride. Dude, ew, that's so what weird. are you talking I about? Uber. I did not feel comfortable at all. But I still gave him five stars because I'm like, Me bitch. too. I do that every Why? time. Why? Because I don't know, like, unless they're trying to kill me, then I'll give them one star. <laughs> I mean, we had that weird ass Uber. This guy was like really high. Do you remember? I was really scared for my yeah. He was like gold. He was driving crazy too. Yeah. He like turned out one second. He was like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm really high. Yeah. <laughs> we should get tacos. <gasps> Can we? Yeah. Right. One time I got picked up at my school and I had a boyfriend at the time. The guy was like, oh yeah, I have a wife, blah, blah. And he like, he looked over at me and he was like, oh, I love how you smell. Oh. <laughs> he was like, what kind of a perfume is that? And I was like, looking at him all weird. And he was like, oh no, 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 it's because I have a wife and I want to buy her that. And I was like, oh, okay. I got really comfortable because he had a wife. And then I was like, talking about my boyfriend. And then he's like, yeah, I don't really have a lot of friends. People, they don't feel very comfortable around me. And I was like, oh, that's weird he was like normal. you and i should be friends and he was like yeah it's just like you're so nice you feel so comfortable and we can really talk and i was like dude i don't know why your girlfriend and my boyfriend would not be okay with that and then he was like i think we could really like be really good friends we could hang out we could go to the movies together I was oh my like, god what the i was fuck? like yo that sounds kind of datey that was just feeling kind of weird at that point and then he dropped me off and he was like so we're gonna be friends right yeah and i was like yeah Totally. And I go home and I get a call on my phone and I answered it is the Uber driver and he's like, hey, hey, I just wanted you to have my number. This is oh my real my number. God. So like just jot it down and then he gave it to me. He was like, okay, so yeah, so I'll wait for your text. And I was like, yeah, totally. This dude was like older than me and he's married. So it's just really weird. Oh and for me, it was weird because I mentioned straight up in the beginning of the conversation that I had a boyfriend. What about the Bible when I was yelling at you? For Which one? You one. one time I called an Uber and I was with my dog because I had to like take her to the vet and it was like an emergency and my mom wasn't home yet. I let them know beforehand, I was like, I have a dog. I called an Uber, the guy just wasn't moving and it was like 20 minutes after and I was like, I was gonna be late to my appointment. So I canceled it and I call another one and then when the other one gets there and I'm outside, I'm about to get in, I see a car pass by and he was screaming some shit 
shit. And he was like, are you Angelique? And I was like, I think so. I was like, nope. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get into the other Uber. And because he saw me getting into the Uber, he was like, yes, you are. And then he started saying shit. And, other, and I didn't understand anything he was saying. He was yelling shit at me. I got into the Uber and the guy was like, who's that? And I was like, I think that was my old Uber. Can you drive? Just go. Just go. He wasn't moving for 20 minutes. And I kept calling him and he wouldn't answer. Like, is it my fault? I wish I could drink from this dick. I almost had a sugar daddy. Uh I order lift. Cool. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's sh oh. shared. There was already like two people on the back seat, so uh -huh. I had to get in the front, fucking front seat. He's like old, like wrinkly, like like gray oh, hair. Uh -huh. Like he could be our grandfather. They dropped off the first girl, and then there was the guy and me. They were talking about Disney, and then he's like, "Have you ever been to Disney?" He's like, "I'm gonna take you." <laughs> then we were about to drop off the dude. He's like, "We're gonna drop off whatever his name is, and we're gonna go to Disneyland." And I'm like. The Haha. <laughs> and then he starts talking, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna kidnap you and <laughs> take you to Disneyland. That moment when you're like creeped out, but you're just like, ha ha, ha, ha. <laughs> And then he's like, I'm gonna tell you something. I used to be a sugar daddy. And I'm like, okay. But yeah, like my marriage was not going well, so I started dating this college girl and I help her out throughout the years. And he's like, you're too pretty to be working. You need a sugar daddy. I mean, are you offering to give me money without doing anything in return? <laughs> yes. Bruce. And he kept missing turns. He was just talking and I'm like, you're supposed to make a left here. And like, oh, you're so pretty. You're distracting me. I just don't understand. Like some guys just don't know how to not be creepy. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. Cause obviously he wasn't like an actual kidnapper, but he really could have just not been creepy. Exactly. Is that such a foreign concept? Like the fuck? Don't tell a girl you're gonna kidnap her when you're the Uber exactly. fucking driver. Well, until it's just wrong with the guy that like wanted to go back to his place. Oh God. <laughs> I was on my way to Sydney. Really recent. He was really nice, okay? Like he's not, he was not creepy. He was not that creepy. <laughs> I got in the car and he's like, oh, you took Uber pool, you know, like people can request. And he's like, unless I put something on the fucking app to only like get um, you. And I'm like, no, it's fine. I'm not in a hurry. He, he tells me like his whole fucking story that he has a wife. He has two kids. Like, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, Ugh. Again. I told him like no because I hate men which is true like I do not want to date like I'm just like in that position right That's now mood, right? <laughs> and then he's like oh who did you so wrong like l let me know and uh, I'll take care of it and he asked me like where I live and then I asked him where do you live because I was being polite and he's like oh I live like right back like right there with the mountain a mountain sorry <laughs> I'm drunk it's okay it's fine <laughs> Right, right there with the mount where the mountain. Mm -hmm. Ah, why did you say it? Let's just say I live right over there. <laughs> what you want me like reroute? And I'm like, no. He's like, yeah, like you know, like people say like you cheat on people on your partner because things are not going correctly. You're like, well, you know my story, my situation. You just let me know you're interested. I was like three minutes away from you. I was like, just turn here. <laughs> I had an Uber driver and he's sort of talking about how like he's American but his family's from Romania. He says, yeah, I couldn't come back into the country for a while. And I was like, oh yeah, when I was a teenager, I did some stuff. There might have been a warrant for my arrest. Oh my God. And I might have not been able to come into the country for 13 years. So I might have been in Armenia for the last 13 years hiding from the law. Like I was kind of scared. He was like, what did he do though? And he says something like, you're kind of cute though. And, and then he was like, we should like hang out sometime. I mean, I promise you, I haven't been like in jail yet. Like I've been yes? in juvie. Oh. He said yes? <laughs> He's My like, God. No, and he was like, yeah, I just, I've been in juvie. And I was like, for what? And he was like, just a misunderstand. We don't gotta talk about it. And like that was kind of scary because I was like, you know, the law was looking for you. You couldn't enter the country. That's like a big for yeah. 13 years. 13 years, bro. Why would you tell the person that you're driving somewhere or someone that you might even date uh -huh. that you couldn't enter the country for 13 years? Right. Because the law was looking for you, bitch. That's scary. Yeah. I'm not about to be like a prison wife. Now we're done. Woo! Thank you guys for watching our video. Do the Nikki like Please follow Sam and Angelique on Instagram. I'll link them in the description below. We have TikTok now too. Wait, What's up? What am I gonna do? Entertain Act. people. Act. Like this is me watching Friends. <laughs> this is the Friends episode. Don't forget to do the Nikki like while you're in, in a weird ass Uber. Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a nice leg. Wait, I wanna fart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.